Hey guys, Luna here. Welcome to this collectibles guide for Forza Horizon 3. I'm going to be showing you the location of all 15 barn collectible locations. Inside each of the barns is a car, a unique car. Now every 70 minutes or so, you will get a hint popping up on the screen with a purple marker on your map and inside that purple area there is a barn to find and I will show you the exact location of each along with the small cinematic that goes with it. Now the order that the barns spawn is different for everyone so I could get some that spawn first in one location and you can get the other but the car inside each location is the same for everyone. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Would you like to do the honors? That is a Lamborghini, believe it or not. The LM002 was supposed to be a luxury car you could take off road. Looks like this one's been hitting the dirt too hard. The suspension's gone. Okay. Wow me. Dune buggy, cool. This is a Myers Max. I always wanted one of these when I was a kid. Actually, I wanted a Lamborghini Countach, but I figured I couldn't take it on the beach. Every day is like Christmas morning with you. It's a Jag. Oh yes, it's a Jag. Mark II, if I'm not mistaken. 3.8 litre engine, racing livery. But none of that matters, right? I mean, it's a Jag. You feel classy just standing near it. Come on, the suspense is killing me. No way is that a Ford Woody. It is. It's a Ford Woody. This thing is like a priceless antique. It's like finding a Rembrandt in your garage. Well, for me it is. And who's our next contestant? Hmm, looks like a Skyline GTR. The V-Spec. Back in the 90s, these things ran right in the Aussie touring car circuit. Come on, what have you got for me? I can't even see it under there, is that? No, it can't be. It looks like one of the rarest and most valuable Maseratis ever made, currently being used as a bookshelf. It's a Holden Monaro GTS 350, 5.7 litre V8, circa 1973. Sorry, it's just this is an emotional moment for an Australian. Okay, time to open her up. 69 Dodge Charger Daytona. Look at the size of that wing. This is a custom NASCAR racer. What's it doing all the way out here? Best part of my job, right here. Old Land Cruiser, nice. You can't kill a Land Cruiser. They kept bringing out new models, but they really shouldn't have bothered. All the ones from the 70s are still running fine. Let's see what all the fuss was about. <laughs> it's a Reliant Regal. This is a classic piece of British motoring history. You keep digging up classics at this rate, and this time next year, you'll be a millionaire. And open her up. Will you look at those lines? This isn't just any Ferrari. This is a 166. First car they ever won Le Mans with. The car that started it all. 
and the poor thing looks like it's been sandblasted. I am way too excited right now. Seventy three Falcon XB, five point eight liter V eight, main force patrol interceptor, fuel injected suicide machine. <laughs> you might have to give me a minute. This is going to be a good one. I just know it. Oh, boss, we stand in the presence of greatness. The Holden Sandman. See that faded paint? That's the Sea Witch livery. It's not a custom job. Holden had it like that in the brochure. Oh, I love this part. That's an FX. That's the first Ute Holden ever made. That is Australia's gift to the motoring world, right there. However, ugh, this one smells like it's had goats living in it. Ready? I'm ready. We're ready. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, I mean, you know, it's a bit covered in mud and slime and whatever that thing is, but, oh, boss, that is a Ferrari Dino under there. Let me get it back to the...